Hey, good afternoon. Angela from Creating It here. Uh-oh. Looks like I made a little mistake. Um, don't know if this has ever happened to you, but apparently I dropped a stitch somewhere here. Not quite sure where uh, it was or what happened, um, but it created a ladder down my entire column. So if this ever has happened to you, not to worry, you have come to the right place. I am gonna show you exactly how to fix this in a cinch. And I do actually have another video on how to pick up drop stitches if you have a loop to pick up and carry on from. But in this video, I'm gonna show you how to pick it up when you've got nothing but ladder. The only thing you're gonna need is a crochet hook, and I like to use one that is slightly smaller than the needle size that I'm using, just so it's a little bit easier to get in and out of the stitches and work them. So go ahead and grab your crochet hook, and let's learn how to fix this. So here we have our ladder, and we have a closer view right now so you can get a better understanding of how to do this. Now what we're going to do is we are going to take our lowest strand here, grab it in the middle, and twist it to the left, just like so. See how we made that little twist? Okay, so I'll do that one more time. Just grab it in the middle and twist to the left. Now the next thing we're going to do is we are going to go over and behind this loop above it, this strand right here above it. We're going to take this, holding it in our loop form, we're going to bring it under this and through an opening that will be created right here when we do that. So let me show you what I mean. So go ahead and grab your loop holding its loop shape, pinch it like that. Now go to the strand above it. You might have to lift it up a little. And we're gonna go over, behind it, and through right there. So watch. See how we go over that? Now it created a little opening right here that you see. So just push that little loop right through there. See how that came out? And then just like that, you have created a loop and you have connected the two pieces starting at the bottom down here. You can see what that looks like at the bottom once you connect it. So now you get to use your crochet hook. So go ahead and insert your hook through the front of that loop. And you are ready to begin the rest of your stitches. So just like in my other tutorial that I have, go to the next bar above and pull that through. Now take your hook out and go through the front again. We always want to go through the front. So we're repositioning our hook. Go to the yarn above it, the ladder rung above it, and pull that through. Okay, and then again take your hook out and reposition it through the front. Go to your next ladder, pull that through, take your hook out and reposition. Now go to your next ladder, pull it through and reposition. And then we'll just keep doing that with each ladder until we get to the very top of our stitches. Pull that through. Okay, next rung. Pull that through and reposition. So it looks like we have one more ladder rung before we are to the very top of our row. So go ahead and finish that one out. Okay, and you don't need to reposition on this last one. Just go ahead and put it in that direction right onto your left needle. And as you can see here, we repositioned everything. So we actually fixed our work and put it all back together. And you can see how the bottom looks very uniform right here, just like the rest, because now you know how to twist that bottom stitch to get everything back in order. Okay, you did it. So now you know how to pick up a drop stitch if it falls all the way down in your work. And never again will you have to rip out a project. That is the worst. Your knitting life is going to be so much happier. So carry this on throughout all your knitting days. If you have any questions, again, you can always ask me. So thanks for stopping by. Have a wonderful day. Bye.